Can somebody please tell me which war America involved in and them win the war? Of all the wars them that have been fought all over the place and America involved in it, which one of them them win? Where they march home and feel good, say, yes, we win the war there. I can't remember, you know. I never said it never happened, but I can't remember. But in my lifetime, I mean, about the Vietnam War, 52,000 soldiers are dead down there. And a whole heap of them stay down there, get married and start to live down there because they love Vietnam. You know, Africans recently we see them run out of Afghanistan after 20 years in Afghanistan. The Russians them spend 10 years in Afghanistan and have to leave. Because even the man where them kill named Ben Laden, the Americans used to arm him against the Russians them. And when the Russians them leave Ben Laden, set up his own thing and start against the Americans. We see just the other day them have to leave. Leave Iraq. Them kill Saddam Hussein and eventually match up the whole country and them have to leave. We see them going to Syria and now them have to fight. I don't know how long now them have to fight this war. And them have to pull out. Them kill Gaddafi in Libya and match up the whole country. We hear Obama said one of the biggest mistakes he made as president was Libya. No. In seeing all of these things, because right now, Ukraine, they a, a little shaky thing now because in America, the Republicans, they no arm back. They, they, they go send go, no more arms to get Iraq to fight against Russia. And that is where the president of Iraq is the pen pan. The billions of dollars for them send there. And now that war also looks shaky, even though it was a proxy war. Meaning say, them never have no troops on the ground, at least so we think. Them never have no troops on the ground, but them did arm the people them to fight against the Russian them. No, it kind of look dismal because of the same American them look like them don't want to fund that. But we're looking at Israel. We see them are back, Israel. And the whole world, we have to say the whole world against America because them see the devastation we are going down there. 30,000 people dead. That is what they find. We're not talking about what they not find. Percentage of that at children. And when you look on the, the pictures of them on your TV, you say, how oh, is this possible? You know, this modern time, the world, America, even though they are licked against the, what they call them, the, 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 the terrorists, them. everybody are terrorists. Even though they are licked against the terrorists, them. and they are send ammunition and 2,000 pound bomb to the president and to the government of Israel to kill the people them who them claim to them and send food for help. That is talking with a far tongue. That here you look and you see thousands of people dying with the bombs and the guns that you give the people them who is killing the people them. And then turn around and say, why well, you want to say you have to ease up the clay now. But you are, even though you, you, you have to ease up the clay, we still have to send you them, the bomb them. America is a strange place. Strange place. Right now, you can go in America when they must say, advisory to Jamaica, it is not safe. Black people no kill white people in America, in, a, in a Jamaica, sorry. Black people kill black people in a Jamaica. White people, tourists, tourists, they are at trench town at night time. Where people are saying, no, I'm going to trench town. You have uptown people in Jamaica now go along the south. White people go along the Japanese, 
or uh, some late night you see Japanese monks some place that you say wait or where them people are doing here but America you can be going into a Walmart and don't come out back alive because the little youth decides say you going to take him father gun and start fire shutting there most of the time it's some little white supremacist youth yet still them have travel advice you upon other countries and no America, you know, you know, America. As a matter of fact, since him said that, more tourism get bigger in Jamaica. More Americans are coming to Jamaica now than ever before. Check the tourism board, and you know, if it's if I lie, me I tell. So what is it? What is it that America is of and is doing? That we, who call ourselves third world countries, must be continuously, continuously backing these people when they don't have we, our interests at heart, even though they might tell you that, but round the corner, they might push that. Round the corner, they might say, well, I'm giving aid to this country of the tune of how much billion dollar, but round the corner, they might pressure the government to do certain things against the people. We have to wake up, especially the countries them we call themselves African countries and people we call the African diaspora. We have to check ourselves. Them do have our interests at heart. So we now have to go find our own pathway and direct our own course in this year time here and make our own historical stamp again. Upon the world, I read.